Okay, folks, look, we back at it again. Listen, this is week two of a five-week series of Get Your Grill On, right? Now, listen, I done partnered with Walmart. You guys already know that. I done already partnered with Walmart. You know what I mean? We getting ready to do some Fiesta favors, right? Look, these are super easy to do. Now, today, we're going to be focusing on one of my favorites. Listen, this is a Fiesta chicken skewer, you know, with rice, right? So, I'm going to be using this rice right here. I want you guys to come and look at this right here. Y'all know who that is. That's Ben's Original. Right, so look, obviously it says Spanish, Spanish style, right? Now the whole thing is keeping up with the theme of that fiesta, right? And I want to tell you this, listen, it's super easy to make, stick it in the microwave, put it in for a few seconds, and it's ready. And I don't want to like play that down or nothing like that, because when I tell you it's good, it's very, very good. We're going to talk about the holy guacamole. Look, these are time savers. they great options to have. You know what I mean? When you're putting something together, especially if it's last minute, you don't have to run to the store and get all the avocados. This is what, these are like my go-to products, right? And over here, we got the salsa. This is a medium bite on there, right here, made by Pace. I don't have to say nothing else, you guys already know it. This is the meal right here. And then you know you gotta talk about the star. The star is these pro this protein right here by Tyson, right? These are chicken breasts. You can see right here, no added hormones or steroids. Hey, so there you have it. Gave it to you in a nutshell. You've seen the ingredients. So the only thing left to do is the grill. So check this out. The whole purpose of this series is, is to get you ready by Memorial Day and to help you, you know, hone your skills for the grilling season. All right, so really the first thing we got to do is we got to marinate our chicken, right? That's how I do mine, right? So I want you guys to come here. Listen, I already told you they skewers. So if you guys look, these are skewer sticks. I got a pan right here. This is water. You want to pre-soak these so that these won't burn when you put them on the grill, right? Just a little bit of a pro tip. Some of you guys might have the metal ones. The metal ones are cool too, you know what I mean? But if you don't, this is more traditional. So just remember to soak. Now, come here and take a look. Now, these are the breasts that I'm going to use. We're going to cut these up, and then we're going to put these in a bowl, right? So, let me get to go ahead and cut this. All right, so what I'm getting ready to do is take it in the inside, and I'm going to go ahead and clean my chicken, and I'm going to bring it back. But one of the things I'm going to tell you, which is like really, really key is, it's 100% all natural. All right, so what I'm doing now is I'm just patting them dry after, you know, getting these and cleaning them in the inside, right? So, this is what we're working with. So I'm gonna go ahead and move these right here for a second. I'm gonna bring my bowl in and we're getting ready to make the marinade. Start where I put my oil in, right? Then we're gonna add just all of our ingredients in here, right? Everything goes. This is what makes it super simple. So listen, that was garlic powder, onion powder, paprika, you know what I mean? And then we had oil, right? And the oil was a garlic infused oil, right? So you can see this right here, look at the color. It's time to go ahead and cut these down. Now you want these to be of a, a nice size because you want to be able to have them on there and you want them to cook. Now the key to this cut right here is you want all your pieces to be about the same, right? So if I cut it like that, that's a big piece. But check it out, if I cut it in half, I want all my pieces to match this. This is a decent size, right? So we'll just get them about the same, right? You want them to be the same, right? So they'll be, that way when you're cooking them and you're grilling them, they're all ready at the same time. That's key. You don't want this piece to be raw and then this small piece over here to be done, you know, fully cooked, right? That way, when you get this one cooked and you come back to this one, now you done dried it out. So it's really, really key to get them as close to possible, you know, the same size as possible. And then when you get done, it should look something like this, right? Now, let me change my gloves and we move on. One thing I didn't do is I didn't give it a, just a little pinch of salt and I always add pepper to everything. Now, I just give it another, you know, mix, wake everything up, because it'll kind of like settle on you as you let it sit up. But I can promise you everything is marinated, marinated right? So now I'm gonna add my chicken to it, right? And then we are gonna move it around, and I'll do it for you guys so you guys can see. You know what I mean? So we'll just take it like this, and look at that. Look at the color. This way you'll know if you have seasoning or marinade on all of your chicken. And I don't know if y'all can hear that. I hope my mic is catching it. But listen, it's that time of the year, folks. So we got to get out there, you know, make these recipes, run out to Walmart, get our, you know, our ingredients and get your grill on. So once your chicken looks like that, I'm going to put this top on here. I'm going to put mine in the refrigerator. I'm going to go a minimum of about four hours. You know what? Best results overnight. You know what I mean? So you could do this the day before, wake up in the morning, and before your friends come over, or you feed your family, then you can get out there and get on that grill. I'll see you in four hours.
you guys can do this any type of way you want to whatever's good for you you know you can do that now we want to cut these right so you have seen the size of the chicken right so i'm gonna cut it like this just give it like a weird type of chop to it and that'll do it you know we'll take this you can do whatever you want to these are for like some of the filler pieces and the inside you know in between the cuts so these make for some nice pieces to you know do a little separation right not to mention that they taste good too grilled veggies come on folks now let me go ahead and break this down all right so you see that right there you guys know when them coals get nice and white they radiate in that good heat and that's why i like the kingsford right there listen that's that 100 original you want to talk about reliable and the taste that it gives amazing folks i don't even know why i'm mixing this up like that folks because it ain't even gonna go like that right so listen we got onion bell pepper now we got a skewer now i'm getting ready to go in bring out the chicken and we're getting ready to make them this tight seal right here man i can tell you the aromatic that comes off i can't wait folks all right so listen this part right here is real simple you want to get yourself like some type of uh you know a cooling rack obviously i got a you know a, a pan right here i mean a tin uh, pan so we keep this here right we take this you want to stay like towards the center you know what i mean you don't want it to be lopsided leaning over then it depends on you how far down you want it to go right this will be key too we put this in here like that then we get another piece And I guess now after you looking at this, you're like, man, uh, that's pretty simple. I'm finna come with a little onion. Right, chicken. Remember, stay in the middle. That's all you gotta remember on this right here. And you wanna make sure that your, your veggies are cut to a decent size, right? And you wanna make sure that all your chicken, with this right here gonna be key, has been soaking in that marinade. You see that right there? Then I kind of like push them down. So the way I'm doing it is, I'm going chicken. I'll start with like a bell pepper. And then the next time I come back, then you know, obviously it'll be a chicken. And then we're gonna go with an onion. Got it? So it's bell pepper, onion, whatever. But I'm gonna tell you this for the, uh, I'm gonna give you guys the real truth. It doesn't matter what you do. They yours, you make them how you wanna make them. You know what I mean? You might wanna do one. Somebody might say, I want all onion on mine. If anybody know me, that's probably how I'm gonna have mine. And notice how I'm ending this one with a little onion on the top. Speaking of that, and this was like two, so I'm gonna try to like split this around. Ah, it won't do it, but that's what you wanna have. I did a couple here on the uh, on this side right here with like just some extra ingredients that I had. You know what I mean, like having red onion stuff like that. You know what I mean? Just want to let you guys know they're so customizable. You know what I mean? But once you hit it with this marinade and you get everything right, listen, that chicken, the marinade, mm, right? So if you remember, we talked about this, about the direct zone, right? So I'm going to start off by putting them over here on, on the direct side, right? So we just add them like this. And we're going to stay with it because we're going to grill these. We want to be over the heat and we're going to stay with it. Right, we want to pick them up with some tongs. We're going to check them, but right now we want them to get that little flavor. You know what I mean? That's that Kingsford, right? That gives it that infusion of that flavor along with that marinade, right? So we're going to check it, but we're going to leave it like this for about two to three minutes and we're not going to pick it up. All right, so now we're getting ready to make a flip. You know, so I'm going to take it, just turn it sideways, get some char on that side. Right, we'll leave it like that. We'll take this one, just bring it like that. That's a little too far over, right? And we just keep doing that until we get a little char on each side. Now we're not trying to fully cook it because remember chicken got to be 165, right? So once we get enough char on there, then we move it to the indirect side. All right, so you can see these right here. These is nice. You know, it's got a little bit of char on them. You know what I mean? Uh, oh yeah, right? Look at the veggies. You guys know about those grilled veggies, right? So I'm turning this one over. This one, I just wanted to get a little bit more char on it. We'll leave it like that. And what I'm doing is I'm bringing everything. Once I got it the way I want it to be, I put it over here on the indirect, then I close the hood. And then what we want to do is we want to vent it so that we run about 350. 
Then you want to have a meat thermometer. That way you can check your chicken. That's very important. 165. We don't want to see nothing no higher than that. Now, one of the things I didn't say was that you can make these out of, you know, chicken thighs, that dark meat. That's a little bit more on the juicier side. That's why I want to stay within my parameters of 165. I don't want to go further. All right. So if you pay attention, look at that right there. Got nice little crispy edges on the end. That's what you're looking for. And look at the veggie. You see how they start to char down? That's grilled right there, folks. Now, I'm gonna put this over the top, right? I'm gonna vent it. I know this, how to vent this, so this will run at about 350, 375, right? So I made an adjustment down on the bottom, closed it up, because we want to suffocate it, right? So we don't get, use as much air. Right now, I'm at 300, closing this top vent just a little bit more. You know what I mean? Just to slow it down. When I get to about 375, I'm gonna see where it settles at, and then I'm gonna let it run like that just for about 10 to 15 minutes just to check it out. Then I'll be hitting it with my meat thermometer. Okay, so I got my meat thermometer. I went ahead and just checked it to see where we was at. We right around 140, right? Remember, we looking for 165. So I'm gonna say right about now is the time that I would like to take my rice. Listen, this right here, it don't get no easier than this, folks. Listen, now the rice only takes 90 seconds in the microwave. All you gotta do is just break it up in the inside, tear a little side on the side just to get a little vent, put it in, 90 seconds, it's ready. And don't forget, this is called a fiesta skewer, right? So it says it all, Spanish rice, fiesta, right? And then skewers, chicken, let's get it. Okay, folks, like I said, 90 seconds. And there you have it. You see that steam coming up off of that? Ooh wee. I ain't gonna lie to you, it's hot in my hand. Look. Oh yeah. Look at this right here. I'm gonna put those skewers on top of here, right? Cause it's all about like the presentation. <laughs> Not to mention that this on in the background is almost like a garnish, right? But it tastes good too. You guys can look at it. Look, it's so fluffy. All right, so when you think about the theme, right? This all complements each other, right? Now listen, paste salsa medium will add the kick to any ordinary meal. This is what you wanna have. You know, you put this out for you, your family, or your guests. This right here got like a little bit of a medium. You know, it's got a medium, a little bit of a bite to it. This right here is nice. I gotta tell you, this right here complements the rice and just with the whole theme. And then, you know what? I love saying this part right here, holy guacamole. Nice and creamy. Being honest with you, I can put this and transfer it over here. That's just for the aesthetic, but this right here comes in a cool bowl. You could just put this out and it works just the same. All right, so now we want to check it. I'm going to check the bigger pieces like this. So we just stick this in here like that and we look for the reading. We're looking for 165, 162. Okay, there's 165. That tells me 166. That close, that's ready to come off. And then I'll check one more and I'll check this one right here. You know what I mean? Let's look at this one right here. 165. 168 these are all ready to come off right you want to check the thicker ones and then you want to go from there right because that's going to give you the reading so i'm going to just put these down like this take these off and there you have it folks boom we folks it's time to get down and get with the get down. That's what it is. So I'm gonna take this one here. I'm gonna put it right there on the rice. This one here. And then as many as you make, you can put these out and give them out to your friends and family. And you know what? They can get down and just uh, eat. Now, with all that being said, I'm finna chow down. Cheers, y'all. You know I gotta come in with the rice. Now, let's go in with a little bit of this salsa. <clears throat> that medium bite is just right. Now, last but not least, Finna go in here and get a little bit of this guac. I can just tell you right now, if this don't say fiesta, springtime, you know, uh, like a summer gathering, family and friends, that's what this whole combination of everything does. So look, check it out. Let me do recap this whole meal, right? Now we're getting ready to start with the holy guacamole. The guac right here, all I can say is I got two words for you, creamy and authentic. This right here is fire, folks. Then we got this paste salsa. This got that medium bite on it. It's just right. I want to tell you, when I say perfect, 
And all of this with the Ben's original Spanish style rice and the Tyson chicken breast. If this don't say fiesta springtime, you know, summertime meal, I don't know what does. Now, don't forget, this is just week two of a five week series of Get Your Grill On. I say it like that because that's what we doing, folks. Go to Get Your Grill On page on walmart.com to get your recipes and ingredients for each week of the series. This is fire, so go ahead and do what you always do. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe, tell Walmart this was great, and guess what, folks? I'm out. Peace.